after James Gunn recently made it clear that no, he wasn't fighting Chris Pratt, even if the Twitterati really wanted him to. And both he and the rest of the Guardians of the Galaxy would also walk if someone higher up did. The cancel mob moved on to a new target, namely Bill Murray. What did he do, and did the mob direct their ire at the right person? Stick around and find out, for in this video we will explore how production was shut down on Murray's in-development film Being Mortal, how he is the one being blamed for it, although there is plenty blame to go around. On April 20th, Deadline Hollywood broke the scoop that after already having been halted for a couple of days, production on Being Mortal, the directorial debut of Aziz Ansari, had been suspended. Insiders told Deadline Hollywood that the suspension was not COVID-related, and added that after investigating a complaint that was filed the week before, the studio chose to suspend production as it assessed the situation. Exact details behind the complaint were unknown, but Deadline sources stressed that the complaint was not leveled against Asari himself, and also hastened to add that Ansari and his producing partner, Yuri Henley, had been working with the studio to figure out what the next steps should be. And just so you know, even if Deadline Hollywood did not put this in their scoop, that they placed such emphasis on clearing Ansari of any wrongdoing suggests that their source is someone very close to him. Deadline were also provided with a copy of a letter sent to the cast and crew, which read, we know you're all concerned about the recent delays in production and want to give you an update. Late last week, we were made aware of a complaint and we immediately looked into it. After reviewing the circumstances, it has been decided that production cannot continue at this time. We are truly grateful to all of you for everything you've put into this project. Our hope is to resume production and we are working with Aziz and Yuri to figure out that timing. Production will be in touch with you to share details on the wrap, and we will let you know as soon as we have more information to share. Signed, Searchlight Pictures. The good news for the cast and crew is that they weren't told to look for other employment opportunities just yet. Because whenever a production is suspended, there is always a pretty substantial risk it might not be resumed. Indeed, there is no guarantee that production will resume here either but for the time being, that appears to be the intention. That aside, whenever a production is suspended, like it was here, and they make a point out of informing everyone that it was due to a complaint, and that that complaint was definitely not against Ansari, so don't you dare even think along those lines, then obviously there will be speculation about exactly who else messed up so badly that production had to be suspended. And it won't just be fan speculation, it will be industry speculation, because Deadline Hollywood is, after all, an industry trade. Many must have speculated that it might have been Seth Rogen, because in Deadline Hollywood's next day follow-up piece, which was obviously fed to them in a hurry by the same sources as the initial scoop, Seth Rogen is explicitly cleared of any wrongdoing as well. But that's buried beneath the headline, though, which outs Bill Murray as the culprit. That way, no one need speculate on anyone else. Exactly what he did was not revealed, outside of the vague label of inappropriate behavior. Again, that invites speculation, and in this day and age, cancellation. As we have covered in earlier videos, Bill Murray is well known to be difficult to work with. This is, by the way, not unusual in Hollywood. Many of the all-time greats were, and still are, difficult. Their eccentricities only tolerated because they deliver performances and bring in crowds and recognition that no one else can bring to the production. When it comes to the former SNL alum and Ghostbuster star, filmmakers know he will always deliver the performance they expect. They know his presence alone will elevate their movie to a level it otherwise would have had no chance in hell of ever attaining, and they know that on the way there, there's going to be issues. In Murray's case, those issues include, but are not limited to, not showing up until the first or second day of shooting, getting into arguments with other actors, making more sensitive co-stars cry, or even fighting with the director. Bill Murray has a long and sordid history of various set stories and accusations of misbehavior in between bouts of genius. 
I'm not defending that or even saying it's a good thing so much as it's a trade-off. Does the filmmaker want a pleasant shoot where everyone is happy, but where the finished movie will end up forgotten pretty quickly? Or does the filmmaker want to carve the movie into film history by having this or that iconic actor feature in it? Again, I'm not defending it, merely stating that since whatever aspect of their personality makes some individuals great, or even iconic actors, can also make them nigh on unbearable to deal with. That is the cost of business. It is, however, not the price everyone is willing to pay. The trades have not detailed the nature of Murray's inappropriate behavior on the set of Being Mortal, or who was on the receiving end of it. But probably, it was co-star Kiki Palmer, most recently of the Proud Family Revival and Hustlers. On April 18th, two days before the initial report from Deadline Hollywood, and right around when production first would have been halted, she took to Instagram to rail against an unspecified you. And this you was, in her opinion, evidently not professional, flexible, humble, or kind enough for her liking. In a couple of minutes, I will break down her whole Instagram statement and the problems with it. But the main takeaway is that there is no hint of anything sexual or racial, but a whole lot of Bill Murray's particular quirks. So many guessed that production had been suspended because of him when this was first posted, and when Deadline Hollywood later reported that it was indeed him. Well, then the shark smelled blood in the water, and they were hungry to cancel someone. The Twitterati and the entertainment media complex was now out to get Bill Murray, and quick to dig up any old dirt they could find, mostly second-hand accounts that Murray has never commented on. One of the more widely circulated stories, though, was one from last year, when Lucy Liu gave her account of how she, and to a lesser extent Drew Barrymore, clashed with Murray on the set of Charlie's Angels. This is something that Murray has responded to as well, and long story short, both parties accused each other of being unprofessional. And it belongs to the story that just like Bill Murray, Lucy Liu is also someone considered a very difficult actress to deal with. So maybe not have too many of those in the same production. Either way, the hit pieces kept coming against Murray over the Being Mortal production suspension, and it got to the point where he was seemingly subjected to a struggle session, where he was taught that he must listen and learn. In a follow-up in Deadline, as well as in an interview with CNBC, Murray, in the vaguest terms possible, spoke out about the difference of opinion with a woman on the set which was probably Kiki Palmer, and how that ultimately led to production being suspended. The company, the movie studio, wanted to do the right thing, so they wanted to check it all out, investigate it, and, and so they stopped the production. But um, as of now, we're talking and we're trying to make peace with each other. I think that's where the real issue is, is between our peace. Um, we're both professionals. We like each other's work. I, we like each other, I think. and. Um, if we can't really get along and trust each other, there's no point in going further working together or, or, or making a movie as well. That is Hollywood speak for that they don't like each other and there's a very real chance production will not resume. From there, Murray continued with the usual buzzwords. Uh, it's, uh, it's, been an I, it's been quite an education for me. I've been nothing, been doing not much else but thinking about it for the last week or two. And, um, I feel like if I don't, uh, if I don't see that, you know, the world's different than it was when I was a little kid, you know, what I always thought was funny as a little kid isn't necessarily the same as what's funny now. That's code for that he acted like he always acted, but now he's surrounded by snowflakes who get easily offended, and the studio took that very seriously. Things changed and uh, the times changed, so... Uh, it's important for me to figure it out. And I, I think the most important thing is that it's best for the other person. I thought about it and I figured, if it's not best for the other person, it doesn't matter what, how, what happens for me. I think this is Murray's way of in between the lines, letting everyone know that if production is permanently shut down, it's because this other person is too much of a snowflake. 
while still putting out the general message that the studio demanded that he put out. Murray has a way of doing this. Just look at how he seemingly endorsed Paul Feig's Ghostbusters. Why was this idea appealing to you? It was only because I knew these girls were funny. <laughs> Danny and I and, 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 and Annie and, and Ernie were just screaming, cheering like we were at a sporting event. At the end of it, they just kept... <laughs> With a similar level of sincerity, Murray also said about the current situation. How could I misperceive? How could I be so inaccurate and so insensitive when you think you're being sensitive to some sensibility that you've had for a long time? So uh, we're talking about it where I think we're going to make peace with it. I'm very optimistic about that. You know, I'm, I, you have to be. And, um, you know, I, I, I think it's a sad dog that doesn't that can't learn anymore. I really think that's a really sad puppy that can't learn anymore. I, I don't want to be that sad dog and I, I, I have no intention of it. Um, I, what would make me the happiest would be to you know, put my boots on and, and for both of us to go back into work and, and, and be able to trust each other and, and work at the work that we've both spent a lot of time developing the, the, the skill of and, and, and hopefully do something that's good for more than just the two of us, but for a whole crew of people, a whole crew of movie makers and, and uh, the movie studio as well. It was most generous and most cooperative of Bill Murray to say that. It's almost as if he isn't really the problem here. With that, let's get back to when he was first outed, although without being named, in Kiki Palmer's April 18th Instagram post. In her Instagram post, Kiki Palmer wrote, It's not always about how good you are at the actual job, it's about how you show up to the job. Are you on time? Do you have a good attitude? Are you efficient? Are you flexible? Are you calm under fire? Do you represent yourself and the employer well? Are you a good communicator? These are the things people sometimes don't think matters, especially those who work in fields that come natural to them. It can double your rate in any field if you create an enjoyable experience for the client. And it can lower your rate when people don't like the experience of working with you, no matter the outcome of the actual task. I am talented, but I'm not arrogant enough to believe that there aren't many more talented people. However, not every talented person is a professional, and people pay for professionalism. Now that's free game. Happy Monday. If this message had been addressed to anyone working a 9 to 5 job, or indeed to a just starting out actor with no name or no resume to speak of, but who was as difficult to deal with as Bill Murray, then it would have had a point. But it isn't, so it doesn't. Where her otherwise sound argument falls apart is that it isn't actually about any random no name actor who acts up like Bill Murray, but about Bill Murray himself. And no filmmaker ever hired Bill Murray in order to pay for his professionalism, i.e. showing up on set on time, being courteous and humble and such. Oh, they expect that of all the other actors to be sure, but they paid Bill Murray more than any of them because Bill Murray is quite literally the only one who can be Bill fucking Murray! And that is what they want. That is what they pay a premium for, and they do so because his presence alone will take the movie to another level. And they evidently valued that more than they valued Kiki Palmer feeling her co-star is professional. Speaking of professional, do you know what isn't? Kiki Palmer doing this in social media in the first place. That isn't professional, nor is it in any way beneficial to the employer, the studio. Something else that isn't professional is failing to understand the chain of command, or in this case, that Bill Murray is the draw and therefore higher than her in the hierarchy. It is not for her to demand of him what her employer demands of her. Her employer, the studio, who is also his employer, hired him under a different contract with different conditions to do a different job, namely to be Bill Murray. And that is something Bill Murray is uniquely qualified for. If Kiki Palmer doesn't understand that, that speaks volumes about her professionalism. I'm not altogether sure the right individual is being blamed for production being suspended here. But there is more blame to go around. 
first time director Aziz Ansari not only lost control of the situation, he failed to properly inform Palmer of what acting with Bill Murray means, and what is expected of her to make that work. If he wasn't up for that, that's on the studio, because they should never have brought Bill Murray into the mix if the filmmakers weren't ready to take their movie to that next level. What do you make of this, and do you think production will resume? Let me know your thoughts in the comments.